Hello everyone and welcome back to another technology tech tip with Zach. Today we're going to learn how to mount and unmount a USB drive on our desktop. So let's go ahead and get started. Notice I've already plugged in a USB and here is the contents. So let's go ahead and open our terminal. And the first thing we want to do is uh, CD to our desktop. That's where we're going to mount and uh, our USB so that we have easy access. Now we do need a folder on the desktop so let's go ahead and say MKDIR and we will call this NMT for mount and notice we now have our mount uh, folder. The next thing we need to do is figure out the device name in order to mount it and we can go about that two different ways. One um, either we'll use the uh, sudo command. Remember the sudo command gives you root privileges. Hopefully you are not using root as your normal user. So we'll say sudo fdisk dash uh, space dash l. We'll ask for my password and this right here will provide you the device boot and notice that it tells us this device 100 or 1007 megabytes which is a gigabyte and it provides us with say the system fat 16 um, that's one way to go about it there is an easier way that I think is a little simpler DF space dash H it provides the same device name right here or the device boot but what it shows is the current location of the USB and notice that we have this 8C33 etc if we open our USB that is in fact where it's located that is the name of the USB great so let's go ahead and mount this so first we will do sudo slash dev slash sdb1 now if you were mounting, if you had more than one option or you were mounting a hard drive or something else, um, you would type in whatever the this section is right here under file system or boot, device boot, um, in order to access that drive. The next thing we need to do is tell it where to go. And in this case, we want it to go into this NMT file. Notice we're already on our desktop. So we can just type MNT. Ah, might help if I said mount. sudo mount, that's what we want to do, slash dev, slash sdb1, and then NMT. Okay, great. Now we can do an ls command of mount, and notice there are the files from the USB it is now mounted. Now this comes with some advantages and disadvantages. One disadvantage is that if you try to eject it will give you an error because it's currently mounted. So what we want to do is then unmount that as well. Now if you notice DF-H now shows this USB mounted and the location is right here. So to be able to eject it, uh, to delete information on it to change in that aspect, what we have to do is unmount it. And we basically just reverse what we did. We say sudo umount and then the device um, location of the device name. dev slash sdb1 now, if we do an ls and nt, it should come back empty because there's nothing in it because it has been unmounted. The USB was unmounted. So we could remove the directory at this point and it is gone. And now we can eject our drive as we normally would and it is also gone there as well. So I hope this helps. Um, it's an often confusing process that is made harder by textbooks, 
but it is a very simple process as you can see. I hope you like this video. If you do, please subscribe. Leave your comments below. I appreciate them. I will do my best to respond. If you have a better way or you would like more information, please leave those in the comments as well. And until next time, happy coding.